Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 267. That is, what is a host and what is a port number? Let me answer. So what is a host and port number? So let me explain in a detailed manner. Host is nothing but a computer. Let's say here, let's say this is my laptop, okay? This is my laptop. I can call my laptop as a host. So how to identify my laptop? In order to identify my laptop, I have to use something known as IP address. With the help of IP address, okay? With the help of IP address, we can identify this laptop or we generally call that as a host now. Host is nothing but a computer, guys. To identify the computer, we need an IP address. And in this host, there will be different softwares running, right? In a computer, there will be different softwares running and these different softwares will be running on different port numbers. This software will be running on different port number. This software will be running on another port number like that. Every software will run on a different port number. So if I have to identify or access a software which is running in this computer, then I have to use a combination of IP address colon port number. Okay. IP address colon port number. If I have to identify or access this computer, only IP address is required. But if I have to access a software which is running in this computer, then I have to, along with the IP address, I have to put a colon and provide a port number. Okay. So let me give a real world example so that this part will be more easy for you. So everyone know about a hotel, right? Okay. The hotel, what the hotel? Let's say hotel is a computer here. This computer or hotel contains several rooms. Okay. There will be several rooms. So all the people who check into the hotel will not stay in the same room, right? They will they will book a separate personal room. Okay. So like that here, here guests are the software. Okay. And uh, the hotel is a computer, which is nothing but the host. So here, like every, in, uh, in this hotel, every, every room has a separate room, uh, room number, right? Like that here, every software on this computer, that is host machine will be running on a separate port number, like room number, port number. Okay. So in order to access this uh, a particular room, room, what we have to do? First we have to uh, first we have to go to the hotel, access the hotel, and in the hotel we have to go to that particular room. Similarly, if you want to access a software which is running on this computer that is host, then first we have to use the IP address colon port number. For example, there is a software which is known as Jenkins. Okay, so if you install this Jenkins software in your machine. Okay, it will get installed at the port number 8080. Okay, so let's say in this laptop, if I have installed Jenkins, then the port number 8080, it will be installed. So if I have to access this Jenkins software in a browser, I have to type like this, HTTP colon double slash IP address of my machine. Okay, I have to give the either IP address of the machine, IP address of my machine. So how to find the IP address of the machine? This is CMD and say IP config and here IP4, V this one guys, 192.168.0.101, okay? Here we have to give 192.168.0.101, okay? This is, this is the IP address for accessing my laptop. And where is this Jenkins software which is installed is running on the port number 8080. So to access, in, in, instead of accessing the computer, if you want to access the software which is running, Jenkins software which is running, I told you, right, Jenkins will be installed in the port number 8080. So I have to give colon 8080. Then if you press enter, if Jenkins is installed in your machine, you will get the page of the Jenkins guys, okay? Since Jenkins is not installed uh, in my machine at this moment and it's not running now, right now in my, in my machine right now, uh, this will result in no page, but in real time, uh, if you have installed Jenkins and uh, if the Jenkins is running and if you hit this URL with your own IP address and uh, colon port number of the Jenkins, you'll get the Jenkins software available and accessible in this browser. Okay. So hope guys you understood what is a host and port number in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, 
i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye